If the country is to avoid serious economic rapids, it'll be thanks in no small way to the farmers and transport operators. If you wanted a truck that symbolises the scale of their contribution and capabilities, Volvo's 16 litre FH and Globetrotter spec would be the likely contender. We went to nightcaps in the deep south to check out the latest Series 5 incarnation of this captivating machine, rural carrying business, Transport Services Limited, a company that believes capability is key to contribution. The opening photograph and the main test feature back in the April 1986 issue of New Zealand Trucking Magazine was one of the magazine's more unforgettable images. An FHL Freight Haulage Limited Foden S108 climbing north away from its home base on the Nightcaps OPO Road. Little did we know then that FHL, one of Southland's most respected operators, was heading for some inclement commercial weather courtesy of the Transpac saga. Neither did we know then that a young bloke who had started as a casual driver a couple of years earlier would one day find his name on the shareholder list of the transport spirit child that would rise from the mayhem that was about to unfold. I'm still only casual, says Transport Services Limited, TSL Director and co-owner Wayne Williams. His baritone voice and laugh are as much a company signature as the fleet's rear delivery. I've never had a contract, still working towards it I guess. The resemblance in liveries between the FHL machine back then and the TSL rigs of today is no coincidence. It is late autumn 2022 and here we are back in the nightcaps, some 397 issues of the magazine later, and we're standing in front of TSL's latest addition to the asset register, Swedish Stag, fleet number 6. It is a majestic Series 5 Volvo FH16 700 Globetrotter. And although the base fundamentals haven't changed, an engine, a transmission and a pair of diffs, the scene tells us just how far things have moved on. The scale of a modern highway truck is impressive. If that old S108 Foden was standing alongside the Globy, it would be completely overshadowed. The driver of the Globetrotter is David Scobie, aka Rowdy. David is a 22 year veteran at TSL and like Aaron Tate on the rural DAF in the February feature, is every inch the stock truck driver having cut his teeth in farming before taking the wheel. This was obvious the instant we arrived at the first pickup. As Rowdy loaded the cattle, there was no bellowing or yahooing. It was a quiet, orderly affair, the crates giving off their signature clanking sounds in response to the hooves of the boarding passengers. Loaded up, we set off and we glided along in the Volvo serenely through the impressive deep south countryside, impacting the local Sunday sleeping, not one iota. Presentation wise, the unit is certainly on point, with impeccable lines, roof bars, air horns and the aero kit all setting off the final look. Yes, Southland's climate means maintaining a Californian level of shine is impossible, especially on a rural truck, but TSL go the extra mile to ensure that their workhorses are prepared for the environment that they work in. Watching the really big trucks launch into their work is always awe-inspiring, and at 50 odd tonnes, number 6 turned out a two-chain road and began to accelerate up State Highway 94. From our perspective, it just simply got smaller in silence, as its relationship with the horizon became more meaningful than its relationship with us. If we wanted to keep this stag on side, then we had to go, and go now. There is absolutely an undeniable gap between the Americans and the Euros, says Wayne. The power, torque and the AMT make it so effortless. We have both Euro and American in the fleet, and under big loads you can definitely hear the US engines working a hell of a lot harder. Swedish Stag is spec with a Euro 5 16.1 litre DC 16, set at 522 kilowatts, 700 horsepower, and 3150 newton meters, 23 23 pound foot of torque. 
Behind that is a single plate clutch and an iShift ATO 3112F 12 speed AMT feeding to a pair of RTS 2370B high point diffs at 23 tonne. These are sitting on rad GR8 bag air suspension with shocks and stabiliser bar while up front a pair of FLA 20 front axles right on parabolic leaf springs with shocks and stabiliser bars. The cab of the new FH is mostly familiar on the exterior, but the new vertical grille bars deliver a sleeker and stauncher look for sure, and the Volvo is also first cab off the rank with adaptive beam headlight technology. The big change for the FH is in the cockpit, with the new dash setup that is a significant improvement aesthetically. There is now a 12 inch main screen inside a binnacle with definitive borders. Then the wrap houses switchgear, traction management, climate, park brake, vents and infotainment control via a 9 inch touchscreen. Everything else is easily at your fingertips, just as we have come to expect from the Swedes. And as for storage and space, it abounds. And when it comes to the business end of the build, TES Transport Engineering Southland built the 5 axle step deck trailer and Delta Stock Crates and Timaru supplied the crates. Stephen Keese and the team at TS built a bloody good product and he's right there on the back doorstep for after sales service. There's an element of supporting local in these times as well. And yep, Delta Stock Crates, Blair Cochran and the team at Timaru make a great product that lasts for years, explain Wayne. TSL is definitely not backwards and coming forward when it comes to setting the stage for optimal productivity. As Wayne Williams and Dean Carlton are not proponents of adequate power, they like to give the drivers all that the budget allows when it comes to specking kit. That philosophy has its roots in the captain's offices. Dean's dispatched enough trucks to know how power helps, and Wayne's certainly driven enough to know exactly the same. There is a hell of a lot of truck air. The Globetrotters cab is an industry icon and the undercarriage beneath has also made a mark on history and no one would argue that the iShift is an AMT cornerstone in the marketplace. Whether it's a fine example of the zenith of internal combustion's reign is yet to be seen. One thing's for sure though, regardless of the tech you throw at them, trucks and agriculture will continue to be the backbone of whatever's next. To catch the full story on this big southern stag running out of transport services depot and nightcaps, then grab yourself a copy of the June 22 issue of New Zealand Trucking Magazine, or click the link below and get taken through to nztrucking.co.nz. Remember to click the like and subscribe buttons, take care out there, stay warm and travel safe.